Anytime you can get something out of your head and into an actual system, you make it easier to think and work clearly. And that includes with your client pipeline. So today I'm gonna to show you the client pipeline that I use in Notion to keep organized and automate the different stages that my clients go through. This includes new leads, checking in, current projects, and getting testimonials. So let's jump right in. So here's the template that I use for my client pipeline, and you can see the different stages laid out step by step. And I've removed my current clients and just put in some examples for now. So I'm just gonna go through each stage and tell you what I use it for. So firstly, we start off with leads, and this is uh, incoming leads that are coming in through my personal website. And I've used Zapier, I've, I've set up Zapier so that uh, every time someone submits my contact form in Webflow, it's gonna actually come through to Notion uh, and create a database item. So that's done automatically uh, for me. And that information is actually sent through the form and is filled out on the Notion card. So that's including uh, their name and their email and the date that they contacted uh, and their website. And it'll also add the email that they sent, the content of the email itself uh, to, the, to the body of the Notion card. And with that, I'll email the client back and I'll make sure that's a good fit. And once I've done that, I'll uh, move them to call. And so this is saying that we have a call booked and we're gonna get in a call and talk about their project. And if the call goes well and we've outlined exactly what they need for their project, then I'll move them over to proposal uh, in which I'll, I'll draft up a proposal for them uh, in Bonsai. And once that's drafted up and that's sent over to them, I will put it in check-in. Now for checking in with your clients, you can either remember to manually check in with clients uh, by sending them an email after a couple of days or again through using a, a service like Zapier you can send yourself a automatic reminder uh, either through through email or as a to-do to check up with them so you don't have to remember to do it yourself so again anytime that you can automate something you can get it out of your head um, is usually the best way to go about doing it and so if all goes well and they want to do the project I'll move them over to current and those are the current website projects that I'm working on right now um, the currently either going through the design and, and figma or the development uh, and webflow and the other kind of project that i work on with clients is ongoing maintenance for their webflow website and that'll be under a monthly uh, set price that that's just a reoccurring price and they can uh, reach out to me anytime they need updates with their with their website and so those are the two different kinds of projects that i work on on a given month and lastly once the project is over i'll move them over to testimonial or you might call this follow-up either way you want to make sure that you're getting a testimonial from your clients so um, usually you'll send an email or it's best to send an email to them straight away once you've actually launched the project um, but if they if they don't get around to it straight away it's it's good to put it there to again just set yourself a reminder to follow up with them to check in um, to make sure that you do end up uh, getting the testimonial and then finally I will move them over to archive um, so archive and lost are the two kind of separate stages um, that are kind of not really on the client pipeline. So lost is for when the project doesn't end up being a good fit and archive is for any previous client projects that you work on. Uh, and that's good to have if you ever want to go back, maybe follow up with clients. Um, and again, you, you might want to set yourself a reminder to follow up in, in one, three months, six months time. But if not, it's just good to have that backup of all of the projects that you previously have worked on. So if you think this client pipeline will be helpful for you, you can either build it yourself inside of Notion or I'll set up a link in the description so that you can clone this Notion page into your uh, current Notion setup. So that's an overview of my current client pipeline set up within Notion. So let me know how you organize your client pipeline and also what system you use, if there's different stages that you might use instead of me, or otherwise let me know in the comments below any future videos for systems or for Webflow uh, that you think you might find helpful. Thank you for now. Do the like and subscribe thing or whatever, and I'll see you on the next video.